Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to use OpenPose and ControlNet in Stable Diffusion, including a closer look at the OpenPose editor. The OpenPose editor provides us with the capability to swiftly and accurately detect specific poses from images. Moreover, it offers the convenience of saving these identified poses as presets. These presets can then be seamlessly transmitted directly to ControlNet, streamlining the integration process and enhancing the overall efficiency of the workflow. By employing the appropriate input prompt, you have the exciting opportunity to creatively transform these identified poses into stunning and captivating images. Let's dive in and explore how to use OpenPose, ControlNet, and the OpenPose editor. Get ready to learn in this crash course. To initiate the process, it's essential to take the initial step of downloading both the ControlNet extension and the OpenPose model. These foundational components serve as the building blocks for the subsequent phases of our exploration. Let's start by installing the ControlNet extension. To do this, head over to the Extensions tab and click on Install from URL. Here we need to paste the official ControlNet GitHub URL. I'll leave a link to this URL in the description. Simply copy the link and paste it in the designated field. Now click the Install button. Since I already have it installed, I'm getting this message. After installing the ControlNet extension, go to the Installed tab. From here it's advisable to click on Check for Updates before clicking the Apply and Restart UI button. This will ensure you have the latest versions. Once the UI has been restarted, you will notice the appearance of the ControlNet expansion panel as you scroll down. We're making progress, but there's still one essential piece missing, the OpenPose model. Let's proceed by installing this model next. Navigate to the Hugging Face website, where you'll find the ControlNet models listed as a safe tensors file, which also includes the OpenPose model. Proceed to download this specific model. As usual, I will leave a link in the description. Once you've downloaded the OpenPose model, ensure that you place the file within the Models folder located within the ControlNet extensions directory. Now upon clicking the OpenPose control type, you should come across the OpenPose model. In case it doesn't appear immediately, be sure to click the refresh icon to update the display. With both the ControlNet extension and the OpenPose model successfully installed, it's time to demonstrate the remarkable potential that arises from the synergy of these two components. For illustration purposes, I'll utilize my personally crafted Dynamic Poses package, now accessible on Civit AI. So let's download the poses. Upon downloading, you'll receive a zip file containing 10 distinctive Dynamic Poses. To maintain organization, let's create a Poses folder within the Root Stable Diffusion directory and place the Dynamic Poses folder inside it, as follows. Upon accessing the Dynamic Poses folder, you will find files for the 10 unique poses. Each pose is comprised of three distinct files. A JSON file containing the key points specific to that pose, a preview image showcasing the pose, and an image displaying the processed representation stick figure of the pose. Additionally, there is a presets JSON file with all poses in JSON format. Later in the video, we'll delve into the open pose editor and utilize this file to preload all the poses for examination. Right now, let's utilize the dynamic poses package to simplify the explanation of how the ControlNet extension and the OpenPose model collaborate. Returning to the Stable Diffusion user interface, navigate to the ControlNet section. Here, upload a preview image from the Dynamic Poses package, then click both Enable and Pixel Perfect. The subsequent step involves using the OpenPose control type, so go ahead and select it. Given that it's a full body pose, opt for OpenPose Full as the preprocessor. After selecting this, upon clicking the Run Preprocessor icon, you'll observe the processed image appearing as a stick figure. Now that all the components are set up, Let's scroll to the top, choose a checkpoint, and craft both a positive and a negative prompt. Afterward, simply hit the Generate button, and your images will be created, incorporating the processed pose from the preview image you previously selected. Witness for yourself how the open pose model combined with ControlNet creates a truly remarkable synergy. Often, when you download pose packages from Civit AI, they come with pre-processed images featuring stick figures. Let's now explore how to fine-tune the settings when placing such an image onto the ControlNet canvas. To begin, ensure you've checked the Enable and Pixel Perfect boxes. Afterward, opt for the OpenPose control type to load the OpenPose model. As for the preprocessor, choose None since the image has already undergone processing. Similar to the previous steps, choose a checkpoint and compose your prompt. Then proceed to click the Generate button. Once the image generation process is complete, you'll notice a distinct visual outcome. The images are produced utilizing the stick figure pose you've specifically chosen within the ControlNet unit. 
This integration effectively translates your chosen pose into the generated images, resulting in a clear and evident correlation between your selection and the final output. Let's now venture into the Open Pose Editor, a tool that provides us with several advantages. These include the ability to save presets and customize the pose according to our preferences. To install, navigate to the Extensions tab and select Install from URL. This is where you should paste the official GitHub URL, which you'll find linked in the description. Just copy the link and paste it there. Then, click the Install button. If I were to do it, you'd see a message confirming it's already installed. Once you've successfully installed the ControlNet extension, proceed to the Installed tab. It's recommended to click on Check for Updates before making any adjustments and restarting the UI, ensuring you're working with the most up-to-date versions. Upon successful installation, you'll notice the appearance of the Open Pose Editor tab at the top. Once you click on this tab, a default stick figure with a basic pose will greet you. Here, you have the opportunity to refine the pose by simply clicking and dragging the key points of the stick figure. Moreover, adjustments can be made to the width and height of the canvas to your liking. Once you are satisfied with the pose and its dimensions, utilize the Send to Text to Image button to transmit it to the ControlNet unit. Following this, be sure to activate both the Enable and Pixel Perfect options. Click the Open Pose control type and select None as the preprocessor since the image has already undergone processing. With these settings in place, it's time to generate an image that features your adjusted pose. Now let's return to the Open Pose Editor tab. Here, if a particular pose appeals to you, you have the option to create a preset for it. Just click on the Save Preset button, provide an appropriate name, and then hit OK. This action will store your pose along with its dimensions in the Presets drop-down menu. When you choose a preset pose from this drop-down menu, all you need to do is click Load Preset to seamlessly bring it onto the canvas. An alternate way to quickly generate a pose is by uploading an image. Click the Detect from Image button to initiate the process. This action triggers the detection of a pose based on the uploaded image. Should you find the pose satisfactory, proceed to click the Save Preset button and assign it a name. This Save Preset will now be added to your existing collection. Within the dynamic poses package you obtained from the Civit AI website, there exists a file named Presets.json. This JSON file contains a collection of impressive presets that can be effortlessly integrated into the Open Pose editor. Here's how you can make this happen. First, navigate to the directory where you've stored your downloaded dynamic poses. From there, copy the Presets.json file. Next, proceed to your Stable Diffusion Extensions directory and access the Open Pose editor folder. Paste the copied presets JSON file into this location. It's important to note that this action will overwrite your existing poses. In order for the presets to become visible within the Open Pose editor, it's necessary to restart your stable diffusion. After the restart, you'll be able to find the poses within the presets drop down menu. Once you've found a pose that resonates with your preferences, proceed to the next stage by effortlessly sending it to ControlNet. To ensure a successful image generation process, be certain that you've configured the appropriate settings and prompts beforehand. This thoughtful approach guarantees that the final images reflect your envisioned outcome accurately. With everything set, simply click the Generate button and witness the impressive outcomes unfold before you. I trust you found this crash course to be valuable, and it would be truly appreciated if you express your support by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Your engagement empowers us to craft more tutorial videos of this nature. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.